All right, everyone. Hello and welcome to today's gameplay stream, The Return of Dark Souls 3. I am Dark Side Phil. I know that many of you have been waiting several days because the last time I played this was on Thursday. And <clears throat> people have been waiting anxiously for me to get back to the game. Uh, pretty excited for it. And uh, looking forward to me to jump back into it. As you know, uh, it's been pretty interesting. It's been a good game so far. A lot of parallels that I could certainly draw to Bloodborne. Which is last year's release, of course, from the same dev team. So it's not surprising that it is very similar. Uh, apparently what people are saying is that once you get further into the game, that it gets much better. It gets more challenging. It, there's a lot of uh, new kind of stuff. Because I'll be honest, you know, my first two sessions uh, of Dark Souls 3, I was very critical of it. And I was like, you know, it's a good game, but it's very similar. It's a lot of what we've already seen. You know, here I am. The first area of the game was fighting the undead, which we've done before. And then the second area of the game is fighting corrupted townspeople, which we've done before. In fact, we did both of those last year in Bloodborne. So, uh, it's pretty much kind of... Uh, it's kind of silly. It's kind of silly uh, because I think that you're going to have similarities... Okay, and maybe it's just a, a way that they're amping up the beginning of the game. I don't know. We'll find out because we're going to play further, right? We're going to be on today, on stream, collectively watching everything as it unfolds and see what else is in this game. And I think it's too early to judge, although a lot of people, I hate to say it, unfortunately, first impressions, right? First impressions leave an, a mark. And if they watch Dark Souls 3 and the first... Six hours of gameplay it is very similar to stuff that you just did last year. They're going to go, ah, it's Bloodborne again. And they kind of, you know, get turned off. Um, for me, I, I mean, I definitely see those comparisons. And I think that they're fair comparisons. But we're very early. So let's see how, uh, how things turn out and how things, uh, you know, advance over time with the game. All right. So, today we're going to be doing three and a half hours of Dark Souls 2 on stream. Dark Souls 2, excuse me. Dark Souls 3 is what I meant to say. On stream. Later tonight I'll be doing the weekend preview as well as my reactions to seeing Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice last night. Blah. That's about my thoughts on the movie so far. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know, uh... I, you know what? I'm not even going to comment. How about that? I'm going to save it all for the, the reactions vlog tonight. Because I got so much to say about this movie. It's certainly not a movie that I thought was absolutely god-awful, 100% bad. There were great things about it. But there's certainly some things in there that I have to talk about and criticize. Because, oh my god. Oh my god. So that vlog will be coming out tonight. Reminder, tomorrow, if... The actual expansion content for Street Fighter V is released in time for my gameplay stream. That's going to be the stream tomorrow. I'm going to return to Street Fighter V after two weeks away. And I'm going to be doing the challenge and trial modes for the characters. Which were all in Street Fighter IV. They're very challenging. They're interesting. They can be frustrating. And uh, I want to try them out in Street Fighter V. It might actually teach me some stuff about characters. Like viable combos and stuff. Okay. Uh, if not. If... That is not released in time for my gameplay stream tomorrow. Then guess what? We're going to do more Dark Souls 3 on stream tomorrow. And then Street Fighter 5 will be Tuesday and Wednesday. So it all depends on when PlayStation Network actually updates. Which, as you know, can be very iffy. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, we don't know. We don't know when PlayStation Network is actually going to update. So we might be playing Street Fighter 5 or we might be doing Dark Souls 3 tomorrow. Depending on what's going on. Okay. And so that'll take us through Wednesday. It looks like Thursday. Uh, Thursday will be the return of Persona 3 for a stream. Okay. And Friday is going to be my marathon of Conker's Bad Fur Day, the, uh, the HD re-release that came out last year. It looks like I'll be uh, completing it in a marathon-style setting. And then, of course, the weekend will all depend on what happened during the week. Maybe it'll be more Street Fighter V, but more than likely I'll be craving more Dark Souls by then. Okay. So that's the deal for this week. That's what's going on. And I certainly hope that um, most of you are looking forward to that. Plus, by the way, episodic releases of both The Walking Dead Michonne as well as 
Minecraft story mode, which I'll be playing later on in the day, a few days this week, offline, and those will also be uploaded to DSP Gaming, okay? Alright, but now before we get started with gameplay, let's address the elephant in the room, alright? There's a lot of rumblings on the internet, a lot of controversy, a lot of people now who are kind of up in arms because of a discovery that's been made about this Dark Souls 3 edition that I am playing. So let me explain, alright? Here's the deal. As you know, I've been playing Dark Souls 3 on the Xbox One. This is an, a, a version of the game, it is the English version of the game, which is completed, and there's no excuse for from software to not be selling it yet, besides Namco, who is the publisher, wants to basically inflate their sales numbers for the first quarter of 2016, so they delayed the domestic release in the United States and also the international release for Europe uh, until April 12th. There's no excuse, the game's ready to go, the game has been on sale in Japan since last week. But they want to inflate their sales numbers artificially because they know a ton of people are going to buy the game in those regions. And they delayed the game on purpose to, to basically to make their financials look good. <laughs> it's an underhanded practice. And it is incredibly elitist that Japan get the game over another region weeks in advance. Especially for a game like this with a worldwide rabid fan base. So people found a way to play the game early. And I was one of the people who took advantage of that and started playing Dark Souls 3 Back on, uh, what was it, Wednesday? Yeah, Wednesday of this past week. Well, From Software came out this week and made a statement. Well, you know, that version that everyone's playing isn't the finished game. It doesn't have any of the online components like invasions. And also, it lacks the day one patch. Now, of course, no one knows what the day one patch actually has in it. Because if you don't have the patch, how the hell would you know? Right? Well, it seems that of uh, Dark Souls players, and what I mean by that is people who primarily play Dark Souls. They don't really do much else on the internet. They're known for speedruns of Dark Souls, streaming Dark Souls, different builds in Dark Souls, Dark Souls, Dark Souls, Dark Souls. Dark Souls. Uh, have been really kind of diving deep into the different versions of the game. Because apparently they have other versions. You know, if you're a known Dark Souls streamer, all you're known for is Dark Souls, chances are that From Software probably contacted you and gave you an advanced copy of the game, which is what happened with a few of these guys. So I guess there's one of these, these uh, bigger Dark Souls streamers has both the PC version and the Xbox One version because he was given the PC version in advance, but then he decided to get the Xbox One version as well when everyone else got it this past week. Okay. And he's been comparing the two versions, and he's come up with what he believes is the main difference between the two versions. Apparently, this Xbox One version of the game has reduced damage. And what I mean by that is it's a percentage. It's not like every enemy deals less damage by a certain amount of points. It's actually a, a percentage kind of modifier. So, for example, let's say in the... In the in, the, the retail version of the game, day one release, if someone punches you, it would deal 10 damage. Well, in this pre-release Xbox One version that everyone is now playing, if that guy punches you, he'll only deal 8 damage. Now, for most enemies, this doesn't make an impact. But I could certainly see if you're fighting a boss, and the boss is supposed to nearly insta-kill you every hit, but now in this version, it's nerfed so you barely survive, that could be something that changes the gameplay experience. Alright, so I understand that. <clears throat> okay? I understand that, definitely. 100%. I'm like, okay, that makes sense. So, the game is basically a little bit easier. Now, why is it easier? It's easier because... From Software wanted to create a version of the game for reviewers to play... So they could beat the game and review it. I think that's incredibly fucking stupid. Because what they did, they created a version of the game that isn't representative of the actual finished version. So basically what they did is they lied. They provided a watered-down version of the game so reviewers would probably go through it and say, oh, I beat it, good, and give it a great review, when in reality, the version that people will be playing that they buy in the store will not be the same. So it's complete misrepresentation on From Software's behalf, and it actually is, it's basically a scam. When you really think about it, it's a scam. Because it's, it's, how else can you misrepresent again? You know, that would be like, oh, Street, they, we were selling a version of Street Fighter V, but the version we gave to reviewers, all the special moves are just double taps of a direction and a button. Right? 
But when we actually sell it to other people, it'll be the real control scheme that's much more difficult. But we wanted it easy for reviewers so that they could handle the game. That is incredibly dumb. And it really is underhanded. So now, I mean, now let's think. So first of all, f withholding the game, three weeks for international audiences to, to flow their numbers and make their numbers look good. And now putting out a pre-release version that's a watered-down version of the game that isn't representative of the final game's difficulty level so that reviewers will review the game highly. I mean, holy shit. <laughs> what on earth? <clears throat> that is terrible. And that's pretty pathetic in my opinion. I, I mean, I'm just being honest here. I think that's dumb as shit. Okay? And I completely disagree with this practice. But it is what it is. Now we're all, ha you know, a lot of people have this version of the game. What are you going to do? You're going to keep playing it, right? Now, Here's the thing, because some people have a misconception. They're like, oh, someone in the stream that just said this. Oh, it's a 2% damage differential. That's a scam? Well, yeah, because here's the thing. Like I said, a normal enemy hits you, and it does a tiny bit less damage, not a big deal. But if there's a big enemy that's doing a huge amount of damage, and now there's a percentage differential, it could be a huge damage difference. It really is big. It's bullshit. It should not be in the game. And it's ridiculous that this version of the game even exists, in my opinion. Okay? But now... Now let's directly address this issue in regards to my playthrough of Dark Souls 3. Alright? Because here's the deal, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know how many of you follow everything that goes on with me. But, oh, by the way, the, I just realized that the screen is not filling the... There we go. It wasn't centered. <laughs> there we go. I fixed it. Good thing I caught that, huh? Here's the deal. Ever since I started playing this game last week... The people who love to stalk me and follow me all over the internet and say nasty things about me and twist the truth to make me look like a bad person on a daily basis. They basically want to ruin my life and my business and basically maybe get evicted from my house, get kicked out into the fucking street. And, you know, if a car hit me today when I was crossing the street, they probably wouldn't bat an eye because that's the kind of people they fucking are. OK, ever since I started playing Dark Souls 3 this week, they have tried every possible avenue to get me to stop. All right. Now, I'm not exaggerating here. This is the literal truth of what happened this week. They spam tweeted Machinima, screaming at Machinima. Phil's playing Dark Souls 3 early. You got to stop him. He's your partner. Uh, da, da, da. They spam tweeted from software and other from software reps all over Twitter, social media. They spammed everyone on the planet trying to get them to stop me to play from playing Dark Souls 3. It's ridiculous. It's honestly, uh, it, it's, 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 at this point, it's disgusting. It really is. Because how many people were actually playing the game before me? Tons. I woke up in the middle of this situation where I had the opportunity to play early while other hundreds of other people were already doing it. But I'm the villain. I'm the one that you have to single out and say, I'm the one in the fucking wrong. Right? These people are fucking sick fucks. They are. It's that simple. They have no lives, and they stalk the sh my shit. Every possible thing they could f get involved in in my life, they try. And this is just another case of it. <laughs> well, guess what? They were completely, 100%, unfucking successful No one gave a flying fuck about their Twitter barrage about me not playing Dark Souls 3. No one cared. Okay? Everyone basically laughed them off and said, what a bunch of fucking little dumb kids. Fuck them. So, now they're trying to start a campaign saying that I should not play the game anymore because this is the watered-down version of Dark Souls 3 and therefore if I play it, it's not representative of the true game and it doesn't mean anything and I can't possibly review the game at a later date if I beat it because I didn't play the real version of the game. Insanity. Really, just real stupidity. And I'm going to explain why right now, okay? Here's why. Ladies and gentlemen, if you've watched any of my playthroughs of the From Software game series from the past several years, you would know the style that I like to play the game. And it's my style. I like it this way. A lot of people, they say, I want the most absolutely crippling, crippling difficulty, insane challenge. I want to get one hit killed every second. I want to... I'm going to go in as a deprived, and I'm not going to put armor on my fucking body, and I'm going to... I'm not that kind of gamer. I'm not. I enjoy challenge, but I certainly don't enjoy to the point where I want to fucking torture myself 
right? Especially when you're trying to make an entertaining video series for people to watch or a live stream. People don't want to see Dark Souls 3 be played for four months. They just don't. So when I've been playing these From Software games, including Demon's Souls, Dark Souls 2, and Bloodborne, all three of these games, I grinded. I did, off camera. I grinded a lot. And that was because I knew I, I needed to beat the game in a timely manner. I knew the game was challenging and long and difficult. And that that was the way that I was going to reasonably beat the game. And let's face it, if you even look at my playthroughs of Dark Souls 2 and Bloodborne, they're certainly not without a lot of deaths, right? The games are still challenging enough that even with the grinding, that I died a ridiculous amount because I'm not exactly the best gamer on the planet. No fucking shit. Everyone knows this. <clears throat> okay? So, when you have idiots who want to go out there and say, Oh, Phil, ugh, he's playing the early version. I can't play it. I gotta find another way to say it. Phil, you're doing it wrong. Oh, I'm so jealous. So what do they do? They try to find every avenue to get me to stop. So it didn't work when they spammed Twitter. So now it's, well, he's playing the watered-down version of the game. So what? I always grind in Dark Souls. So if I were actually playing the PlayStation 4 version of the game right now, okay, with the hardened difficulty, right, more damage that would, would have been dealt, I would have been grinding off camera using my PS Vita remote play, and I would have higher levels, and I would have way more health, so that increased damage differential wouldn't matter at all, because in fact, a game would be even easier, because I'd have way more health from grinding, I've had way more stamina, way more strength, I've had high up stats of everything, because that's how I've played the previous games in the series, so, this, oh no, it does slightly less damage, you can't review it, you can't... Bullshit! Because I've grinded in the past, and that is a legitimate thing in the game. Now, I cannot grind in Dark Souls 3 because I'm playing on Xbox One. I don't have the remote play functionality, and I don't have time to sit in my office <laughs> by myself at night grinding away. You know, when I was a bachelor, yeah, that was something that I did. I remember specifically the knights in Demon Souls running through certain stages, killing skeleton enemies to level up, you know, artificially so that I could continue on with the playthrough. Not so with Dark Souls 3. It's just not going to happen. It's not. So, since I'm not grinding, that's basically my handicap. Normally when I'm playing a From Software Dark Souls style game, I would be grinding. I'd be getting higher health anyway. More damage anyway. I'm not doing that in this playthrough. So it completely negates any kind of lessened damage that the enemies are dealing. Alright? Number two... The other thing, okay, one other thing. Some people are saying, well, Phil's playing a version of the game where there's no invasions. No one's invading, you know, so there's not going to be that element to the game and that's not legitimate. So I guess those people did not watch my playthroughs of Dark Souls 2 or Bloodborne where I also almost never got invaded. It was very rare when I actually got invaded in either game. It was maybe a couple times during the entirety of the games. And you might say to yourself, well, why was that? Because I grinded. I was grinding to the point where I was much higher level than the people who were in the general areas that I was playing through. <clears throat> so because of that, when they were summoning or trying to join or, you know, invade, they would invade people of the same level. They weren't not going to invade my game on much higher level. So, again, the grinding that I did in the previous installments of the game protected me from these things that people are saying, oh, he's not playing a legitimate version of the game. So, it's just complete, it's complete nonsensical fuckery that anyone would try to legitimize that I should not be playing Dark Souls 3 for any fucking reason. You're wrong! <laughs> Here, I'm going to make it black and white abundantly clear for everyone before I begin to play today. I win, you lose! I'm going to play Dark Souls 3, I'm going to enjoy Dark Souls 3. All right, now, I'm not going to rush through the game, like I said earlier in the week. This is going to be a game that I'm going to play kind of stretched out. I'm going to be playing it probably two to three sessions this week. Maybe next week I'll play it, uh, you know, two, uh, one or two sessions. But the bottom line is that first week of April coming up, we've got Quantum Break, which is a huge release. Huge release. And I know that I want to play that a lot, okay? And I just, at this point, 
I know that I'm going to be engrossed in that game and it's going to be balanced off of other stuff that I'm doing. So I'm not going to have a full-time focus on Dark Souls 3, right? But I am going to continue to play it throughout early April all the way to when it was. it's going to be fully released for everyone. And I don't even know, quite honestly, if I'm only playing it a few sessions a week, will I even beat it by then? I don't know. I've heard that the game gets really difficult later on. Like, really difficult. <clears throat> so, FYI, that's the deal. I'm going to keep playing Dark Souls 3 and enjoying it. I hope that you'll keep showing up for the streams when I do play it. It will be balanced with other stuff. Street Fighter 5 this week, Persona 3 this week, a marathon this week, next week Quantum Break. But I'm, I'm enjoying having this kind of opportunity where I'm not just rushing through the game too. Because the bottom line is the game is very challenging. And I feel that you know a lot of the times when I played this game in the past, I get so <clears throat> overwhelmed with it because I'm playing it nonstop every day. Dark Souls, Dark Souls, Dark Souls. Okay? And... I like the fact that I'm playing it a little bit slower. I'm enjoying that because it's allowing me to, I think, enjoy it. Two days I've been away from it, now I'm craving it again. Now I want to get back into it, right? And I'll play it a couple times this week, but then I'll be away and I want to play it again. It's not like, oh god, i got to go back to that ridiculously difficult game, Dark Souls, again so soon. It'll be the opposite, and I like that. <clears throat> so, ladies and gents, that's the deal with Dark Souls 3. Laying down the law, I'm going to keep playing it. I don't care what a bunch of dumb kids on the internet are fucking saying because they're fucking full of shit, as usual, just trying to find a way to get me to stop playing the game by any means necessary because they can't play it and I'm playing it before them. Tough fucking tits. <clears throat> okay. Now, very briefly, because then we're going to get started with gameplay. I've already gone a little bit longer here on the pre-stream than I would have liked to. The gratuitous plugs. First off, if you enjoy everything that I'm doing, you like my daily live streams, you like my on-demand videos on YouTube, there's several ways that you can help the business to succeed. The first is social media. At they call me DSP. If you follow me on Twitter, you're going to get daily schedule updates. You're going to find out what's on my mind all the time. You're going to find out when schedules change and what I'm going to be doing next. In addition... People who do follow me on social media, if you fave and retweet my tweets, if you find them interesting, it gives them more exposure. It gives me and my business more exposure. It's viral marketing at its best, so please do it if you are following me on social media. Okay, that's number one. Number two, in the description of my live streams and my videos, you can find a link to my Amazon Associates account. If you already shop on Amazon.com, this is a no-brainer. Just click that link and then go ahead and shop as you would usually. And it helps me out. So please consider using that if you already shop on Amazon. Of course, we've got... <clears throat> oh my gosh, excuse me. Of course, we've got Patreon at patreon.com forward slash darksidephil where your pledges not only earn you cool personal perks, but also contribute to a monthly goal. This month, it's the Blizzard Marathon. And there's only four days left to pledge until the end of March. And right now, we have not hit the goal. So we need more people to get in there and pledge. Keep in mind, if you pledge $5 this month, you'll get to vote on what game I'll be playing in the Blizzard Marathon. But if you, even if you pledge as little as a dollar, it helps. Not only does it help me to keep doing my business full-time, but it gets that goal level up. All right? So please consider pledging at patreon.com forward slash darksidephil. And then last but not least, you can check out my girlfriend's business, The Black Current, where she sells handmade glycerin soaps and wax tart melts. She is currently selling her spring line of product, which is very popular. In fact, she's almost sold out of a soap that I keep mentioning out here on my pre-streams, Kentish Rain. Very popular, but she's also got great scents like Moroccan Mint and Ginger Ale, both of which I really love. Please check it out at Etsy.com forward slash shop forward slash The Black Current, spelled C-U-R-R-A-N-T. <clears throat> All right, everyone, that is it. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. I hope that you, uh, you know are doing what you can to help out so that I can keep doing this in the long term. It is much appreciated, and I thank you for being here to check out my Dark Souls gameplay and my gameplay every day. It's pretty awesome of you, all right? So that is it. Let's end the pre-stream, and let's jump back into Dark Souls 3. Damn straight. <clears throat>